good day today showing you my morning routine on particularly productive days i would say this routine happens like at least three to four times a week the morning really sets the tone for the rest of my day so if i'm off my game in the morning then i honestly feel like it takes me until like late afternoon to get my stuff together on a normal morning my alarm goes off at six but i'm probably not getting out of bed until like 6 30 if i'm honest i'll snooze the alarm a couple times and if my phone is on my nightstand then i'm definitely gonna pick that up i need to start charging in here actually but i like scrolling on it at night so that's something i could improve in my routine but as soon as I'm up, I'm letting light into the room. I'm making my bed. I'm just basically making it so that I can't get back into bed comfortably. Like I couldn't fall asleep right now because the windows are open. And then I jump into my skincare because I feel like this wakes me up too. Today, I washed my face with the Dermalogica Daily Milk Foliant Tower 28 SOS Spray as a toner. I'm gonna use the Dr. Dennis Gross Vitamin C and then the Honey Halo Moisturizer, Lash Serum, and then Sunscreen. I work from home and I do work for myself. So I have the luxury of planning my own schedule. But I do my best to mirror my I work for myself, work from home, work day like it was when I worked a corporate job just because I love the structure of a corporate job. So I try and like mimic that in my own day, even though like I don't have to, but I like it because it gives me structure and it helps me with time management. And I feel like it's easier when it comes to like making plans with friends who work more traditional work day if I follow that same schedule. But I'm a firm believer that the morning sets the groundwork for the rest of the day. So let me finish up my skin here so I can feel and look human. And then we'll pick our outfit and get started on my other items. Wearing my black Sculpt Flex One Shoulder Set Active set today. I get a lot of questions about what my favorite set active fabric is and it's definitely the Sculpt Flex. That's the one that like sucks you in and like holds you in really tight. The other one that I have, I think it's called Sport Body or something Lux maybe, Sport Lux. I don't know, but it's kind of more like Lululemon Align fabric. Like it's softer, but it definitely like shows more cellulite and the lighter colors aren't as flattering on me. I will say that I wore a pink one yesterday and it's like, it's okay. Like cellulite's normal, but like sometimes I just like want to be sucked in. But I did a braided ponytail to keep my hair out of my face. And then I'm gonna wear this little nudes cropped t-shirt too. But I just wanted to show you the set because this is so cute. This is one of my favorites. I got this on Poshmark actually. I get a lot of my set active on Poshmark because one thing about this brand is you can wash it like a million times. Like this set is probably five years old. I feel like they've done a really good job about making their designs and styles like a little bit timeless. And because they're so plain and because they wash so well, they last forever. I think this one is legitimately like five years old however old the company is because it has like the old logo in it but yeah check Poshmark for set active because like aside from stains it washes really well and I feel like my tan looks exceptionally good today so I'm going to show you what I used just in case there are questions but I've been using this Bondi Sands Aero self tanning foam one hour express quick try i don't know why i'm reading the whole thing brooke michio recommended this she was spot on this is so good but i ignore the one hour express i don't really believe that any self tan is going to give me like the look i want in one hour so i keep this on for like five plus hours i've kept it on overnight it's one of the ones that when you wash it off you will have color but the color also develops over the next 24 hours so plan ahead if you have like an event or something but i really like this one i have a bunch of favorites as you can see this is like all my self tan stuff i just reorganized under my sink and now i can finally show you under here because i was never gonna put that online but now it looks good all right let's make my greens i am an athletic greens girly but only with lemon juice. My go-to recipe is like a little bit of water, not even a full cup, flash of lemon juice, and then a scoop of the greens. I like adding some ice cubes because I feel like when it's cold, it's a little bit more palatable. And the ice kind of helps it stay mixed. And while I'm drinking my greens, I will sit down on my computer and I usually empty out my inbox and then plan out the rest of my day. And actually on the topic of greens, I've seen a lot of stuff on TikTok. I'll be honest, that's where I've seen it. But I think they were like dietitian accounts. But anyways, I've seen a lot of stuff about the majority of people that drink greens like this 
don't actually have like that deficit in their diet and I don't disagree because I have like a very well-rounded diet if you've seen my Instagram stories and like the meals I eat like pretty much always has a vegetable like I don't think I need the actual greens themselves but I like the morning ritual of drinking it I like that there's obviously like the vitamin aspect the hydration aspect too they go by AG1 now but it used to be called athletic greens and it was because it was kind of more of like a hydration and recovery thing too so I feel like I start off my day on a more hydrated note when I drink these and I'm not the type of person that's gonna drink water in the morning I just like something about it I don't like drinking water like right when I wake up but I don't mind this I do think that the taste on its own is rather vile I've gotten more used to it but that's why I add the lemon juice I used to blend it with pineapple I used to do like all this stuff um, but now I've just found that like lemon juice is the easiest and when I travel I can take the travel packs and I take like the little travel packs of the dehydrated lemon if you've ever seen those like true lemon packs it kind of mimics the same thing on the go anyways i don't work with athletic greens just because i think the messaging is kind of hard to like nail down and it's hard to like communicate correctly and they don't give discount codes they literally only give you a link that gives you like a free water bottle and that's like not enticing and it's an expensive product so maybe if they started giving discount codes i would work with them again but for now this is the one i take i take athletic greens every single morning i've been taking it for like a year plus on and off definitely not every single morning for the past year but i do notice when i take breaks from taking it or i get off my routine when i get back on it i feel a lot better and a lot of people have been asking me how i've grown my hair and i think there's multiple factors obviously but this does have like a ton of vitamins and biotin and stuff and when my hair started growing a lot at least when i look back in pictures and stuff it was when i was like really on the ball with my athletic greens so i wonder if maybe that had a factor in it i don't know probably find another vitamin that would do the same thing but i just love drinking it i love the hydration i love the energy it gives me like mental clarity i really like it but it tastes absolutely vile and i will admit it's kind of hard to get yourself to like drink something in the mornings when you're not looking forward to like the taste of it, it usually goes down pretty quick and that's why i do like a smaller glass of water to start because i'd rather it be a little bit more potent but like drink quicker than the other way around all right inbox is emptied and greens are done i'm gonna do a couple like morning chores that i usually do starting with emptying the dishwasher assuming that i ran it the night before let me check on the laundry yes i could probably do a load i'm leaving for another trip and four days so i'm trying to stay on top of the laundry i usually wouldn't do a load that was that small i would wait a couple days but some of those things i'm definitely going to want to pack on my trip and i'm literally staring at something that i could have put in that load dang it i usually have a couple more like morning chores to do like folding clean laundry or i don't know just like wiping stuff up it's, like little messes but i've been really good lately about picking up after myself which i'm proud of i've mentioned this before but the reason that i feel like i'm always cleaning is because i'm a very messy person the cleaning doesn't necessarily equal clean person it just means that i'm like messy and always need to clean if that makes sense that's all that i really have to do like chore wise but i feel like that's just proof that a good morning actually starts like the night before with like tidying up and and prepping your day or just like prepping your mindset to like have a good morning because just being able to like unload the dishwasher and load into it for the rest of the day is gonna make the whole kitchen and cooking situation run so much smoother and nice easy smooth mornings like this is what motivates me at night to push through and just do like 10 minutes of cleaning even if I don't want to because I know how good it feels to have a morning like this I've actually been taking pre-workout lately I've tried a quite a few brands actually I've only tried three I've tried eBoost, Alani New and um amino lean and i like eboost so far the best the first time i took this i didn't notice any of those like tingles then the second time i took it i did so this is kind of gonna seal the deal for me if i want to buy like a full size as if this gives me that like itchy feeling today but this is the tropical punch flavor and i get these little packets at sprouts they have these for a lot of pre-workout brands so i feel like it's a good way to just like try them out now i'm stuck with a big container of alani new that i just like don't like I, that one definitely made me itch but i got a bottle at like a gas station over the weekend and i just keep refilling it does anyone else do that i know you're not supposed to do that but i do that all the time so i'm just gonna make my pre-workout and i'll probably wait like 10 minutes to drink it but i'm actually gonna leave here pretty soon for my class it says not to shake but I don't know how you would mix this without shaking. 
Oh my gosh, look, a little apartment update. I started a match collection. Not many Raleigh restaurants give out matches, so I'm on the hunt for some that do. I asked on Instagram and I have a whole list. I just need to post it. But look at these. I got one in like a YSL PR package. That one's kind of cool. And then this one is melon and goats, but just to fill it up before I have a ton of restaurant ones. Heading out, I'll change into my grippy socks there and I will drink this on the way. Whenever I want like an early morning workout class is in like 8 or 8.30, then I'll do Pilates. But if I'm okay with like a later morning class, then I'll do core power, which is hot yoga. I love core power so much. It's just super frustrating with like my day. I feel like days that I take core power, my mornings are just shot because I get so sweaty. I need to shower. I get home at like 11. I don't know. It's this whole thing, but I like Pilates because the classes are 45 minutes. They're at like earlier hours in the day so I can get on with my morning. I don't know. I still love core power. It's just like the actual timing of core power. That's like kind of a pain for me, but I book core power through class pass and I have a membership at a local. It's actually mega former Pilates. So it's like the solid core type Pilates. It's not like the, um, what is that other one called? I guess just like traditional Pilates. It's like the mega former Pilates is the one that I like. I started taking solid core in Arlington, Virginia when I lived up there. Really loved it. Didn't have, there's no locations in Raleigh of that, but I found Flow Core, which is the name of like the local studio I go to. And there's quite a few locations. I think they have three studios. So I just book in their app, like whichever one is available at the time slot that I want, but I really like it. The only thing that I don't like, I'll be honest, maybe this is a hot take. Tell me if you agree, but I don't like paying like $30 for a class and then having to wipe my machine down afterwards. I don't know. It makes it clear that like the cleanliness of the machine that I'm walking into is completely dependent on the thoroughness of the person prior to me. And I don't love that. I will say that. I feel like there should be certain price threshold, like charge me a couple more dollars, please. So long as I don't have to clean my own machine, because that means that the machine that I'm starting with is debatably clean anyways that's my hot take for the day i will say that i'm not loving the fruit punch flavor it kind of tastes like robitussin if you know what that is like that cough medicine all right i'm gonna go in back from pilates and I am pouring myself a cold brew. It's the one I like. You can get this nationwide at Sprouts. This is a Raleigh brand, but they just launched nationwide in Sprouts. So go get this and go try it. Actually just do the store locator on their website. It's called Slingshot Coffee. So good. And it comes in this little like fridge box. I love it. It's my favorite. I go through like a box of it a week. But anyways, that pre-workout definitely gave me that like itchy feeling halfway through class. So looks like I'm gonna keep trying more before I buy a full size heard good things about a brand called beam i think it is but i really only want to try pre-workouts that you can buy the little sample packs of because i don't want to be stuck with a whole tub of it but that's just a me problem if you have any recommendations of brands that sell like the little samples let me know but i've got my coffee i'm gonna bring it into the bathroom take a shower freshen up a little bit Changed into my new favorite tank top from Madewell and then some jean shorts. I actually got these at Plato's Closet, so I don't know how old they are, but they're from Cotton On and I love them because like see how it's a little bit longer in the back, but then it's still like short in the front. I don't know. I love these. Before I go make breakfast, I should probably talk to you about my hatch alarm clock because I can't do a morning routine video without talking about this because it's totally changed the game for me. From the first time I saw someone post about it, I totally bought into it. I knew it was something that I would like. I loved the features of it and the idea of it, but it was just like the aesthetics that I just didn't want that sitting on my nightstand. And then they released the 2.0 or whatever the heck this is called. And it's like linen covered. They have different colors. I love that it just blends in with my nightstand. So I was like, okay, I need to get it. I pre-ordered it. It's this alarm clock and you saw it in the beginning of the video, but it lights up. So it's like a sunrise alarm clock and it lights up gradually based on the time that you want to wake up. So it starts bringing light into your room i think like 20 minutes prior to your actual wake up time and then the sounds on it are just really like melodic and nice it's just such a gentle way to wake up compared to like an iphone alarm and 
clearly I don't do this, but you could like charge your phone in another room and like still get woken up by this. It's amazing. I love it. There's also like wind down features. Let me show you the settings that I have. I also use the free version. So I feel like that's kind of a misconception that I didn't really know. Look at how freaking sad my phone looks. But the subscription model is something that I was kind of worried about or confused about before buying this, but there is a free version that you don't need to pay for. And honestly, there's like all the features that I like. There is a way to get the hatch and not do a membership. You can also do like this $5 a month membership and it'll read you like bedtime stories and stuff. But I would still recommend like the baseline version of it regardless. So this is my rest. See, like I don't even have a bedtime ritual set up. That's one of the pro features, like one of the paid features. This is the sound that I fall asleep to at night. And you can add like a color, like if you want to fall asleep to like red light or something, I don't do that. But I love the wind down features. And then the rise features, I have a six o'clock alarm set on weekdays, a 645 alarm set on weekends, because I like to like maintain somewhat of the same sleep schedule on weekends. You can also do like a morning ritual that apparently it'll tell you like gentle stretches and affirmations. Again, I don't do that. That's like a paid version. You can choose your light. Maybe I'll change it. Maybe I'll change it to sunrise of a flower orchard okay i wake up to lo-fi beats during the week and then i wake up to a different one on the weekends i just like that because it like in my mind i'm like oh it's a weekend i wake up to meditative flute and spring sunrise on the weekends so i like that there's a little bit of a difference in that like you can get it to read you things i don't know it's so cool if you're someone that has a hard time like falling asleep let me turn that off there we go I will say it's extremely expensive, but as someone who snoozes a bunch of alarms, dreads waking up for that very reason, $200, which is how much this costs if you didn't know, is worth every single penny because in theory, like I'm going to have this for years to come, like cost per use is going to be so freaking low. I mean, have it for a year and your cost per use is already like under a dollar and it changes the game for my morning routine so much. I had to mention this. If you're someone that like wakes super easily in the morning, obviously this isn't going to be worth it to you, but aesthetics, functionality, 10 out of 10. I love it. It's one of my favorite purchases of this year and i also think it would make a really good gift it's a great gift i got one for my mom for christmas it was unfortunately the older model this new like pretty one hadn't come out yet but she sent me a thank you text every morning for two weeks because of how much she liked it having a little avocado toast for breakfast i don't always eat breakfast so i don't necessarily plan it into my menus but i'll just eat like whatever's on hand or whatever i'm craving sometimes that's like cereal yogurt granola but today i had a ripe avocado and some eggs and that looks delicious all right and with that i think my my morning routine is over. I'm just gonna clean up the kitchen a little bit, switch that load of laundry I put in earlier. But it's like 10 a.m. and the rest of my workday has officially started. Honestly, filming this vlog kind of got me behind track. I'm usually like online and working earlier than this. I hope you liked today's morning routine vlog. Let me know if you want me to do like a nighttime closing shift version of this and kind of go more in depth on that routine that I have. But I hope you have a great rest of your day. Make sure you're subscribed on here. Follow me on TikTok and Instagram and I will see you in the next video.